how to root your android device by using the latest version of magis which is version 24.1 and a custom recovery hey peeps what's up manchi here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can root your android device by using the latest version of magis which is version 24.1 and a custom recovery so of course the prerequisite is that you need to have a custom recovery installed and as you can see i do have my device which right now is running android 12 however the process will work even if you have a device which is running android 10 or android 11 or even android 7 8 or 9 now all the applications all the links which we are going to use in this video are linked in the description of the video so first thing you need to do is you need to go to the official page of magisk on github you will be on a page like this here and scroll down go to the downloads section and as you can see right now at the time of recording this video the latest stable is version 24.1 so we are going to use that and tap on that it will take you to the releases page here in you will see another section and that is called assets now if it is not expanded tap on the arrow besides the a and it is going to be expanded and the file which you need to download is this apk magis version 24.1 select it and the file will be downloaded if the browser asks you for permission to download the file do let it download files next thing we are going to use an application called fx file manager and we are using this because this lets us rename files however you are free to use any file manager application which you are comfortable using so this here is the main page of fx file manager we will go into main storage and next up going to download because this is where all the files which you download on your phone directly are downloaded first thing we are going to do is we are going to rename this file so press and hold make sure it is highlighted and selected then tap on the three dot menu on the top right and select rename tap on the end after the k and we are going to delete dot apk and give it the extension dot zip select okay now this file has been named to dot zip next up we need to create a copy of this very file so again press and hold highlighted select copy you will get the option for clipboard tap on clipboard and say paste and select ok now we have pasted the file to the very location where it is downloaded which is why you have parentheses one now we need to rename this one the one which has the parentheses one so press and hold make sure it is highlighted three dot menu on the top right select rename and everything before the dot zip is highlighted press the backspace on your keyboard and then we are going to give it the name uninstall so uninstall dot zip now we have two files in our download folder one is the magisk zip and the other is uninstall dot zip why did we create the uninstall dot zip file we created this because if we run into any boot loops after flashing magisk all we need to do is boot back into our custom recovery flash the uninstall dot zip and magisk will be removed thereby fixing the boot loop so next thing we need to do is we need to boot into our custom recovery so first of all turn off your device and once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume up together till you see your boot logo so i see the me logo i let go of the power button keep volume up pressed and this makes sure that we have booted into our custom recovery which in this case is twrp and before you ask me hey manji can i follow this video on any other custom recovery yes as long as the recovery lets you flash zip files you can use it on your orange fox pitch black shrp whatever recovery you are comfortable using now once we are in the recovery we will go into the install folder and this here is our internal storage or the internal sd card now if you're not able to see your internal storage means your recovery is not compatible with android 12 right now which means you will have to use your micro sd or usb otg and place the files over there then tap select storage select your usb otg or micro sd and select ok and then you need to navigate to the folder where you have the file so in my case it is in the download folder here and all i'm going to do is select this magisk 24.1 zip and then swipe to confirm flash and before i forget if you have a device with a dynamic partition like say the poco f3 or the mi 11x you would have an option while you are selecting the zip file to inject twrp or 
you know, inject current recovery after flashing a custom ROM, make sure that option is unchecked. Again, if you have the option of injecting TWRP or flashing current recovery after flashing your ROM, make sure that option is unchecked when you are rooting your device. And the next thing we are going to do is reboot system. So here it is, we have booted back into Android. And now if I open my application drawer, pretty soon a magic application should appear and also make sure you do have an active internet connection. So here it is, I'm going to tap on the magic app and again, make sure you are connected to the internet. We are going to select OK. It is going to download the full version of magic, go into settings, do allow from this source and then say update. Once that is done, the icon has now been replaced with the proper magic icon go in over here open the application and bam here it is you can see that installed version is 24.1 which is your latest version of magic at the time of recording this video you do not need to use any other third party application like root shaker or anything like that the magic app itself tells you that it is installed the version of app is also 24.1 now what if you end up in a boot loop what are you going to do then or say you want to remove magic so let me reboot my device and once we are at the boot animation we will assume we are stuck in a boot loop so we will wait for the boot animation to show up and here it is we have the boot animation so we are assuming we are in a boot loop now press and hold power and volume up again while you are in your boot loop press and hold power and volume up once the device reboots you see your boot logo let go of power keep volume up pressed and you are going to boot into your custom recovery now how do you fix your boot loop again go into install and go to the folder where you have all the files and the one which we renamed uninstall.zip is the most important file right now all you need to do is select this file and then swipe to confirm flash and this is going to make sure that magisk version 24.1 is uninstalled because renaming the file to uninstall.zip lets the installer know that we are wanting to remove that and once that is done all we need to do is reboot system back into android we can again unlock our device and now we can open our application drawer and now if i open the magisk application you will notice that magisk is mentioned as n a so that means our device is not rooted anymore magisk n a means device is not rooted the app is still there but the app does not mean we have root access and at this point if you want to uninstall the application feel free to do so and there it is peeps that is how you root your device using the latest version of magisk stable which is version 24.1 and a custom recovery and also fix a boot loop in case you run into any issues and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you